In this video I will show you how you can do some calibration for a lot of dates and I said also in a theoretical video that's a very crude measure of how long the duration of a site is because it just combines all the probabilities of all the dates by summing them up, hence the name, and I've explained to you in the theoretical video how this works from a mathematical point of view. Here we will just see how it works from the um, use of oxcal and that's also very simple again i have here all my dates from the miskovich's site which is a burial ground and i'm probably interested to get a rough overview how long the site was in use in total to do that i have to include the sum command here again i can use the graphical interface use the sum command from here and give it a name i don't have to do that but uh, i call that my sum and now we have again here a frame in which the individual C14 dates go, which is reflected in this code structure by these curly brackets here. Now I can just cut and paste my C14 dates in here and look into the graphical view again and now you can see that all the dates are within this frame here. So this is straightforward. Now I can start the calibration with file run and you can see here uh, for the sum itself there is no unmodeled date as such there's also no model date because this is strictly not really a modeling of the dates it's just a statistical combination by adding them up to see how the sum is actually distributed you have to go to single plot and here you can see the whole duration of the individual dates if they are just summed up together and you can see that from this perspective the site was in use approximately from 2200 to 1600 before Christ. So this is a large use time and also as I have explained in the theoretical video that's a strong overestimation of the site. You get the maximum possible um, duration of the use here uh, including a lot of statistical scatter that comes from the individual dates and their spread and their random chance. Um, so this is not reliable. You cannot really narrow down things with this. For that we need more elaborate model. But it gives you a first indication where the total um, position is. You can also see that in the multiplot where you can see up here the sum and it's obvious that this sum consists of all the individual dates here and just represents the combination of all the dates here. So there are probably some good reasons to use sum, but if you really want to have an idea um, about how long the duration of an individual site might have been, you should go for a more elaborate model and that's what we will do in the next video.